Right, money printing is, actually there is nothing called money printing, it's a misnomer, it's a misdirected explanation. What happens is, money is printed by the government, and these monies are printed and stored, I mean literally if you say, in the central bank's basement, so the money notes are there. But at the same time, there is a quite an amount of money in circulation, because money is being released to the economy through the banks either to replace uh, damaged notes you know and also to accommodate transactions are going up economic activity is rising so you have this natural money being introduced injected into the system but people don't call it money printing money printing comes the government or has an annual budget so they have the expenditure and also they have the revenues. Now what happens is when the government falls short of its uh, revenues, you have a, what you call a deficit situation. In a deficit situation, the government can borrow money from public, government can borrow money from commercial banks, or government can borrow money from central bank. Now each one has its own implications. The money printing, in precise sense, is that when the government borrows from the central bank. So here again, government is not getting an open check from the central bank. So it is government borrows money from the central bank, so central bank is the lender. But the difference here is that cash comes from the basement. So the money that had not been in circulation, that had not been used by anyone, <coughs> is an additional quantum of money coming into circulation. So this is called money printing. Why it is called money printing is people have given a specific impact due to so-called money borrowing from the central bank. Because theoretically, there is a theory to say that this money expansion through this kind of thing is bad for the economy. So, but that thinking has been busted by many other counter economists, but more so by the government themselves. Because the governments have been b borrowing or printing money at a rate. And the most classic examples of printing money is the COVID situation, where everybody has been on the printing press literally for a large chunk of money. So the money printing is basically not printing money, borrowing from the central bank, which in a way saying you are creating additional cash into the system.